Hey, what's good? I'm Tristan. You're watching Precision Rifle Reviews, and today for the purpose of review, we're taking a look at an awesome item. This is a digital bore scope. It comes from a company called Teslong and is available from BRT Shooter Supplies here in Australia. They uh, are an online business, which is the beauty of it. So sitting from your phone, you go onto their online store, you uh, hit the button and they send it right to your door. You don't even need to go in there. Um, in the past, I have owned a bore scope. Since purchasing this one, my old bore scope is currently in the bin uh, as you needed like a bore scope degree to be able to, re to read it or to decipher what the image was. The image quality, because they're tiny little cameras, was so poor that I actually, it, I could be, unless I saw a massive cut or a massive groove, I didn't know what I was looking at. There was an alternative. Uh, BRT sold a very good digital bore scope, which was $1,900, $1,900 Australian dollars. That's where this one comes in. This is not a typo or a misprint. This is better than the $1,900 unit and it costs $120, just $120 Australian dollars for the bee's knees, its legs, and its arms of bore scopes. So let's get straight to the review. I've emptied out the packet so I can show you exactly what you're gonna get. So in effect, this is the unit. It's currently connected to my Wi-Fi, or it's emitting its own Wi-Fi signal, which I'll get to, and it's coming through the iPad there at the minute but it's a 10 inch uh, device. So if you want to look at your entire barrel, uh, naturally you go in from each end to, to see the whole lot. There is a longer unit that if you want to spend a few dollars more and get a longer unit, you could, but I was more than happy um, coming in from, from either end uh, to be able to see exactly what's going on with your barrel. Um, there is some, uh, witness markings here along the rod to show you uh, the depth of how far in you might go so you can look at it and know, okay, well, that's where I was at. Effectively, the way that this works is there's a camera at the end that points directly out. In the kit, you will get three of these tiny little, uh, they're like a periscope. You can see the mirror shining there. Uh, devices and what they do is and you can see in the image there so that's me looking at the rifle of course and as I put the device on you can look at the uh, in the image there on the uh, screen you can see the the my fingerprint in absolute the finest detail possible so I'll just screw it on now you will see every couple of minutes the unit will refresh and that's nothing to, to, to worry about. Even my uh, $7,000 thermal rifle scope does the same thing. So the fact that a $120 digital bore scope refreshes is not for anyone to panic about. Now, one thing that BRT does provide with the kit, and I really suggest that you guys read it properly, is uh, a few little hacks. They will provide you with some heat shrink um, and some instructions on exactly how to make this it is a in a nutshell read the instructions when you get it but it is some heat shrink shrunk to a specific size all the instructions in there and i just did it it took me less than two minutes to make a little buffer or a little uh a little uh washer out of heat shrink and what it allows you do to do is to put that uh mirror on at an exact point that you want so it's focused um, and it doesn't back off when you're going in and out of your device. The other thing that they tell you to do is to grab a uh, Sharpie and put a little witness marking on your handle here. So when you're inside your barrel and you go, oh, well, whereabouts in reference on the inside of the barrel is that? Well, you can look at your witness marking here and say, okay, it's at, I'm looking at the 12 o'clock position because you lose which circumference you're looking at when you're in the barrel. What is the device? Okay, so here we have the handle. It has a built-in cord here. In the cord, as you can see at the end of the wand here, uh, it looks like ET's finger, there's a light. This little controller here will turn the light up and down, ET phone home. 
um, and then that plugs via USB into this little uh, box. This box is admitting its own Wi-Fi signal. So you don't connect to your own Wi-Fi. It's really the easy the way you do it. Okay, so what you do is you come out from here, you go into your settings on your device. This is just talking to my iPad. It will talk to Android, Apple, talks with everything. Come into your Wi-Fi. Once you've turned it on, in your Wi-Fi network, you'll see Wi-Fi cam and your number. Just connect on it, press it. So you just like connecting to your home network. Once you've done so, you download the free Mo, M -O View app. Touch on Mo View app and you're away. Once you're in the app, you can do a heap of tricky things like uh, screen record, video, take still photos, there's some settings. Uh, and all sorts of great things like that. Now, what do you get in the kit? You get the wand, obviously the digital Wi-Fi box, which connects via USB. So you can connect this to your computer and do it all on your computer and record it straight to your computer as well. If you're using a Apple device, you get a USB to USB-C connector, which they didn't need to uh, provide that, but the fact that they did really impressed me. This is BRT I'm talking about. You'll get the uh, full uh, instructions manual on how to set this up and how to use it um, and talking about the focus and all that sort of thing, which is just screwing that end piece in. It is dead simple. And then you'll get a second little uh, instruction manual just on the Wi-Fi box. On the Wi-Fi box itself, you have a light on and off, a power, um, a button to take a still photo. And on the top there, that's not a, lot, a stick or anything. It's a light to tell me that it's admitting the Wi-Fi signal and the battery level. Um, and there is a US uh, mini USB port, leaving nothing to it. Why would we want to look at a bore scope? I don't need to do that. Well, I used to say the same thing. I recently, with my open class rifle, started reloading. And if you've ever been to a reloading forum, a question that you will see dropped on the daily is, hey, I'm getting something, little cases, in the neck of my cases, I'm getting some marks and some grooving and some scratching and I don't know why, what am I doing wrong? And the answer invariably always is, have you checked the inside of your die? So the way that we do that, and I thought, well, my dies are relatively brand new and they're extremely expensive, very good dies. I will have no problems. Let's have a look here. Let's get the camera, bring it over here. So we're looking at the iPad. Now what we're looking at, <clears throat> this section around here is the camera looking straight forward. This round hole here is on the camera end where it comes out, it's hitting the mirror and bouncing back. So that's looking back at us at a 45 degree angle. Like if I turn it around and get it towards me, you probably see me somewhere there in it. So basically the uh, this section here is looking outwards from the camera and this section down here is looking out. So let's get the die and have a look inside. This should be relatively clean because it's basically brand new. Yet I haven't cleaned this die because I wanted you guys to see it. going to uh, move this quickly, bring the iPad in so you can see how good it is. Like I said, guys, the competitors for this item cost $1,900 and uh, one quarter of the quality of the image. The image, the, uh, the bore scope that I had before was not even viewable. So this section here, I'm looking straight up my die and look at the crap and the debris and the shit that's in it. Don't know how anyone would try and get accuracy looking at that going all the way up. Now, I'm not too sure these little spots here. This is looking at the at the wall. I don't know if this is copper deposits or it's rust, but it's definitely something that um, I personally, um, using this device, are uh, going to look at as it gets worse coming up here. So I dare say this is copper deposits from the jacket but I want to know, and uh, I'm also going to do some inquiries on, on how to clean it, if, uh, if need be. So there's no use in spending too much of the video of you guys looking inside my die, but another thing that you might want to look at uh, is your cases. 
uh, I'm not going to, this is not a reloading lesson, but something that does happen depending on your uh, reloading, reloading regime is you get head uh, separation with the base of the case basically separates from the case. And let's have a look at the inside of a uh, once, this is brand new Lapua brass, once fired. And this is what it will look like in there. So as you can see, you can, this bit here is the wall of the case. And if I just move the piece of brass over to the side, down the side there, down this section here is looking straight down the, you know, that's looking at the actual bum of the case there, I'm just trying to hold it still. This part here, this all this section here is the actual base of the case. Uh, you can almost see the flash hole there, but the uh, the map, the mirror is in the way, and the mirror here is looking at the uh, at the wall. So if you didn't have, and there you go, is that reloading? Like I say, do not stress about the uh, refresh rate, guys. Seven thousand uh, dollar thermal rifle scopes refresh everything uh, does um, and yeah that's just looking at the uh, at the walls and the inside of the case you might be looking at um, case based separation or something like that so realistically if you are serious about um, about reloading or accuracy and you want to look inside your barrel let's have a look inside my action okay well just looking having a good look up on the inside of the action you can see any if there's any wear marks are starting to develop and things like that. Very, very good idea. Taking a look right inside now, this is a brand new, never fired, brand new um, Krieger barrel. Okay, so that there is the starts of one of the lands. And uh, we'll just go back and what have we got here? A little piece of metal so if people think uh, you shouldn't clean your barrel before you use it well there's a metal flake so we've just proved you should it's going down now what we're really looking at we're not looking this isn't an experiment to look at Tristan's barrel what I'm showing you is the quality of the image from a item that costs one dollar twenty a hundred and twenty dollars should i say one dollar twenty wouldn't that be good um an item that costs 120 dollars to get an image quality that good to me that's like that's like you know sort of hd quality uh image it looks like a like a 1080p type sort of uh picture it's the teslon digital bore scope from BRT. You don't need to uh, go too far. In the information description below, I'm gonna hyperlink this exact uh, item at their page. So you can just click on it and, uh, and order it straight to your door. Um, I highly suggest you do it. This is probably going to be one of the cheapest items that you can buy for your firing system to, uh, to make inspections and to, before you take a rifle to a gunsmith or something like that to find out what do you think there's something wrong you'll be able to take a look for yourself like i say all the information for it will be in the descriptions below i'd like to thank brt uh shooter supply stuart nanny both of them are world champion shooters and taking the initiative to put this full uh you know sort of hack sheet or um not cheat sheet but instructional sheet together to show you how to use this device to the best of its ability and them taking the time to do that is a uh, is a testament to their customer service so another good one from them until the next video i'm tristan if you've taken value uh from what we make and what we do i do ask that you please subscribe share it around uh like the videos we earn nothing from our videos the items that we view and review i purchase um so it's just basically there and put into place to uh to better the sport but in order to do so if more people are seeing it it makes it worthwhile uh us making these videos so uh feel free to do that if you've taken value from it see you on the next video